Hello you one, here is our last maths lesson of the week for Thursday's lesson. Today I'd like you to walk around your home and find as many 2D and 3D shapes that you can. I want you to record the names of all the 2D and 3D shapes you see and identify the properties of the 2D shapes. What I want you to do first is pause this video and go and see if you can find as many different objects with as many different shapes as you can. And then we're going to sort them. Great, I hope you found as many objects as you could. Let's have a look. I found one of the shapes that you could have found in your house is squares. Or for this also example, cubes. We can see a window can be a square. A window could also be a rectangle. We have a clock, we have a light switch, and we have a cube. These can all represent square. I wonder if you found any circles. You could have maybe found a sphere for an orange. You could have found a plate or a clock or even pet bowls if you have pets. I wonder if you found any triangles. Did you have any triangle crisps? Did you have any coat hangers? Or maybe you had some watermelon slices in your fridge? These are some of the ways that other children have organised the shapes that they have found. You can see in the first one, they've labelled it circle, square, rectangle and triangle. And they've put them in long rows of all the different shapes that they found. Some have done it by making the shape and putting the objects inside. It's up to you how you'd like to organise them. But I want you to do something like this with the shapes that you've found. I wonder what the most shape you're going to find in your house is. Once you've done that, can you find any similarities and differences between your shapes? Are they the same material or different? Do they feel the same? Is their texture the same? See what you can write down. See if you can find any similarities or differences between your shapes. Have fun!